Hello friends, this is Ganesh on video number 15. In this video, I am going to show you a very simple but very powerful concept called CURD operations in SOR HANA. Here is now, CURD is nothing but create, update, read and delete. So far we have seen our examples about the read, how to read the data from a database table. And now we are going to see how to update or create new entries in a database table. So this is coming under AMDP functionality and AMDP we have two options table function and procedure and this CURD is coming under especially CUD is coming under procedures because procedure is the place where you are able to use these uh, insert update and delete commands because Procedure method is not an read-only option, but table function, it should be a read-only option. So if, if you create a table function without read-only option, you'll get a syntax error, but procedure, you can able to do what. So that's why this CUD concept or operation is coming under procedure, not in the table function. Okay. And uh, yeah, the same thing through procedure or from procedure, I'm going to perform the CUD uh, uh, operations. So create, update and delete, clear? In this example, I'm going to use my custom table, uh, how to create insert entries, update and delete entries to my custom table, okay? Uh, but the syntax and process is same for the standard table as well, especially as for HANA standard tables. And these are the syntax. So um, syntax for create or insert the table entries is insert into database table and select star from source. So here source can be your uh, uh, internal table and you can able to perform the var condition. So var condition is optional in all the places. So wherever if you record, you can able to use it. And update is so going to use update. And I'm going to update a particular column value. So we can use update using set command equal to value. What is the value you want and var condition. And uh, uh, another one is read. We have seen many times about the read. Select start from your database table using var condition and keep it the data in the internal table. And D, just delete the entries from your database table. Okay. So let me uh, get into the system. This is my system over here. Mm. Okay. Before that, let me show you my table. Yeah. This is the table. Okay. This is the structure of the table. So order number, item number, UOM and quantity. And it doesn't have any data currently. It has zero entries. Now, I'm going to create some AMDP class over here. It's a procedure I'm going to create it. And I'm going to execute in HANA Studio itself. Normally, if you want to execute a method, you need a bad program and do it. But here I just going to execute in the HANA Studio itself. But in real time, you're not able to perform it because that needs to be some coming from a business scenario. So you need to call AMDP class and method in a bad program, then you can able to execute it. But here for an example, I'm executing from HANA Studio itself. So here package, this is source code library. I have a class folder. I'm going to create a new class, uh, CGI C -U -R -D process. C -U -R -D process. Next, and you have to select the transport and finish because it starts from the custom package. So here, this is my class. I'm sorry, it should be public. And uh, I don't want these things. So the public section, so AMDP should start with including a standard supportive interface. That is if AMDP marker HDB on a database. Okay, and I need a methods. So here I'm going to use class methods. So AMDP you can have a static or uh, instance method. So here first I want to insert data is one method, 
and I want updates data deletes data and read data okay so no import and export parameter because I'm not I'm not including any business scenario over here here I'm going to show just how to insert data into your uh, database table so I don't want to receive anything from my ABAP program and validate because those are already implemented it. So you can able to, if you want to practice, you can include your original business scenario. Okay. And here I'm going to implement my methods. Methods insert data. Third is a data by database, and this is a procedure. Okay, procedure for HANA DB and SQL script. So, here I don't use option read only, so I just simply going to use using and the table name CURT. Okay, and if it is a table function, you have to use option read only in method. So the syntax is very simple. I want to insert uh, into table name. Table name. Select start from. So imagine I have an internal table. Okay, data to insert. Let me create the internal table. Okay. So there is no R condition. So now I'm going to have some uh, data, data to because I'm not receiving anything from the program. So just I'm creating a dummy information over here. Insert and I need the fields. So what are the fields over here? Uh, it should be a order and it should be a uh, item M A N D T order number item number U O M and quantity so five fields so my client is 400 and order number one, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. item 10 and U O M S U S D. and finally the quantity is 100 okay and from dummy so anyway we have a dummy internal sorry dummy database table we can use it so i make use of the dummy and to create a data entry in my table so it data underscore insert okay and if you want to use as a for you can use a do loop you can use a for loop over here and you can internally update the um, order number by increment by one so you can able to make it okay using a for condition so here insert into table data i'm not going to uh, display anything over here with a success or um, failure so let me do it one by one let's come on this other methods so let's have only one method so insert data okay this i show here this over here it's methods it's done okay just activate it it's activated successfully now i'm going to execute in hana studio so if you want a program you need to create a program and you have to create uh what is that object is a static method so you don't want to create an object using a class name you can call the method then it automatically it will call the method and it create the entry in your database table so instead of that i'm going to execute from here itself execute Okay, uh, one second. Web application runners web application. So it's taking to the GUI level. Yeah, it's coming here. So this is the class, and this is the method, and this is the execute icon. Just click execute. It's done. I don't have any uh, success message, so I'm not getting anything written back from this method. So what I'm going to do is I go to my table and I'm going to check the address. Yes, it has one entry now. So execute. So you'll be able to see that is one entry. So if you want to change, you have to change manually. 
your particular code, particular data value. So I'm going to say 11 and activate. Again, execute. Run us web application. Execute. Go to your table. Refresh. Yes, it's getting data. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to update. Suppose if you want to add a var condition, yes, you're able to add a var condition as well. For example, I'm saying, okay, I'm going to say only the condition where the UOM is equal to USD. Example. But here what happens is UOM is not a field because I'm not giving in any allies name. So if you want to use a var condition, then you have to introduce the allies name at least for the particular field. Okay, so you USD and plus uh, activate and execute it. Now, if you execute, you will get a dump because order number is a um, unique field, is a key field. You should not have a duplicate record. So, if you execute the same record 11, order number 11 is already available, you will get a syntax error or an exceptional rise. Okay. So these are basic in you know, a programming you want to catch the catch the exception you want to give a proper information proper message to the uh, user who is executing this program so those are very basic information i don't want to mingle everything into this so here i want to explain about the curd operations in amd and next i'm going to update the data so let me have another method updates data Just copy paste because I want to just change few things. Update data and here I want to update. Set example UOM is equal to EUR. Okay, so I'm not performing any var condition, so it will update everything. Okay, so just save it, activate it, execute directly the update data. Just execute this method now. Go to the table refresh it able to see yes it's good update the particular field value and delete it's simple you can delete the entire one or you can delete the particular uh, records based on your var condition so let me have a delete over here So if you want to delete everything, you can say delete from delete from the table C G I C U R. Suppose it will this will delete everything. Suppose if you want to give a var condition, so var order number equal to Okay, and activate it. So this is a delete, activate it and execute. So delete data. I hope I clicked it. Let's see. Yes. It's gone okay so this is a way then it's delete
click that and let me insert it i think i have an insert with 11 yes this is the procedure to perform start working on insert delete and update information with your table data and finally read data it is not nothing new over here maybe i can add some uh, import export parameter and i can show how you execute it from hana studio so exporting value internal table data type table uh, cur okay it's a table type that needs to be declared so here types tt curd type table of zji curd okay so read data is not uh, implemented let me implement this first so it's a, it's a simple uh, nothing big we have lot many times we have seen the same data set of coding so data is equal to select start from zgi c u r d and if you want any where condition you can have it otherwise just give this one okay um okay that is so here read and this is a read so what you can do is if it is a read you can have option read only okay if it is a, a, a read table okay so here i have use option read only because i'm going to use only the read select star from the particular database table and try to act order it's activated successfully suppose in case if you change this as a function And try to activate it's given error saying that database function must be read only use the addition options read only so table function is amdp table function is read only and amdp procedure is not read only Out. so now if this is actually a return parameter for this method so let me see how will return the values if I execute from the HANA studio. Execute run us web application. So read data, just I'm going to click. It, it returns the value with the internal table IT underscore data. It has two entries. Okay. So this is a way either you can uh, start working with CURD functions in AMTP method. And this can be possible in um, custom as well as a standard table. So we'll come more about this URD or how to call the procedures in a different way of method. So thank you so much for your time. We'll see more on coming videos.